So what it actually does is that it remote controls your mouse and keyboard and it does the tasks for you essentially. Whichever task you have on your mind, whether it's just booking a hotel stay or booking a place at a restaurant or planning something, it can do it for you. And yeah, I do believe that this is not like for only small circle of people that, for example, like coders or programmers, this is something that can help you on your day-to-day -day activities, you know? It's basically a web browser on a cloud and you can see what it does in real time. So it goes to the website, it uses your login information if you allow it to do so, and then it just moves the mouse, it types, it navigates the whole website. And for example, you can order groceries and you can schedule tasks and save tasks at the same time. There are some downfalls and yeah, today we're gonna talk about that. So let's just switch over to the screen and let's see what this is all about. So introducing operator, first of all, this is available to pro users and it's only in the US. You can use VPN though, that's what I was using, but you have to be pro user and you have to pay $200 for it. So it's still not available to the general public yet. And I honestly think that this is a good thing for now. It will be opened up and of course, there are gonna be some other tools that will be able to do the same. So this is essentially how it works like. So for example, if you wanted to go to Rome and you can just type this prompt, so find and book me the highest rated one day tour of Rome on TripAdvisor. And of course, then it's gonna do the thing. And you see within this text box, and also you see it on the screen, what it does for you. So for example, it goes to the website, it clicks on this things to do category here, and then it searches for those tours. It can even close pop-ups, and eventually it'll complete that task for you. Now, how it works, it just takes your prompt as a text. You don't have to use like some complicated prompts or something you just use your natural language. You can use screenshots as well. And this is what's gonna be your input to the computer. And of course, you will see the actions which are sent over to the FM here, to the VM, to virtual machine. And honestly, it's pretty cool. You know, you can run three of these at the same time. As I've told you, you can schedule the tasks for tomorrow, whatever and you see it in action, right? It goes to the website, you see your mouse move, you see the typing, you see the clicking. It's actually cool and I think it's just gonna get better and better. Essentially, just like it says here, you give it a task and it will execute it, right? So it saves a lot of time for people. I can only imagine what this can do for, you know, virtual assistants or maybe just make virtual assistant out of this for yourself. And of course, for people who do a lot of research. I know a lot of people that get paid for it, that make money online by just researching things for people. And this can do a lot of work. Also, I know a lot of people and I see a lot of people on Fiverr and everywhere working for other people and they're just scheduling tasks making appointments, appointment setters. This is gonna be really good for appointment setters. That's one way of making money with this one. Appointment setters, virtual assistants, and all the things that can save you time, this is a good thing for it. But downfall, $200, it's too much. Honestly, $200 for starters is too much to invest right now. But I think that soon it's gonna go down. They probably need to do a lot of testing. And as it says right here, it can fill out online forms, it can book you flights, order groceries, but yeah, operator, I agree with this, it isn't worth $200 per month with ChatGPT Pro subscription. I'm not gonna waste your time with it, but you know, it just needs time, right? So here's an interesting explanation and you know, showcase of what it can do. So this is the user prompt here. So go to the plus section of Cambridge Dictionary finish this recommended grammar quiz without login and tell me your final score. And then the computer will initialize, of course, and then you see this, right? This is gonna be inside of your operator. You can watch what it does. And as you can see, it closes these pop-ups. You see the mouse is moving and then it's just doing the work that you would do, right? So it goes over to this Cambridge website. It scrolls down it finds these grammar quizzes, it clicks on these buttons, and then it just scrolls for some recommended ones. I honestly think it's cool 
very, very cool. And there's a lot of use cases. And as I've told you, this is not for, you know, some small circle of people that will profit out of this. This is for everyone. Everyone can save time with this one. And everyone can use this in order to, you know, just get more productive. And of course, make some money with it. And the cool thing about it is that you watch it live, right? So it uses the keyboard, and it uses your mouse to do things, and you get to watch it, right? So it does the whole thing. There's a lot of these, there's a lot of these like examples, what it can do, what it can't do yet. And you know, for example, this is a good one, because you can order it to compress images for you. So you send it to download the images from Google Drive, as you can see here, and then use GIMP to compress it under 600 kilobytes. And you tell it to save it on the desktop, right? So it's a really cool thing to do. And then it's just gonna go over, it's gonna finish the whole thing for you. So it opens up Google, it goes to the link that you have provided. And you know, you can go and make yourself a coffee while your images get compressed. And it's not only images, you can compress and you can merge PDF files, you can do research, you can ask for a refund, you can book hotel stays, you can do a lot of things, really, it's it's just really, really cool. Here you can see you can calculate the prices from a CSV table, you can export images, there's a lot of use cases, really, it's, it's going to be really powerful. I mean, it already is. But it's not available yet for everyone. And yeah, it is expensive. One use case that I found for content creators, and this is going to be a good one, you can send it over to a successful, let's just say theme page on Instagram, I'll just find one for you. So you can just send it over there. And you can tell it, okay, find me the best performing post in recent months or recent weeks from this theme page, and it'll just go over and you know, it'll just do research for you. So you as a content creator, you can recreate that post on your own theme page. Same goes with YouTube channels, same goes with TikTok, whatever. It's just good. So for example, you use this one, you just send the link of this motivation, whatever post, and you tell it to find the post with, well, the highest reach highest number of likes, highest number of comments. And yeah, you would spend a lot of time in order to do this yourself, right? Or you would have to pay someone to do this research for you. Now, you will be able to do it with just chat GPT operator. But yeah, we will have to wait a bit more. Or as I've told you, you can use VPN, but you have to pay for it, you got to be pro user, and you have to pay $200 for the first month. So yeah, do some research yourself, go and test it out if you can, if you want, run me down in the comments if you did. And I'll be on top of this and I'll make soon another video on it when it comes, well, when it becomes more available to the world. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next video.